goals in the first five minutes of the game and looked like things were off and running and then obviously the red card changes things. Can you just tell us a little bit about how that affected uh, your uh, your tactics going forward and your thoughts on the call? Um, yeah, explosive start to the game. You know, two teams that, you know, wanted to, you know, prove a point. Um, you know, red cards, cards, you know, it, it obviously impacts games, what you do tactically. Um, certainly when you go down a goal, what you gain, you know, is okay, the, the guy with 11 can, you know, be tactically more creative, which I think what Bob, Bob did. Um, but the guy that's coaching with 10 gets that mental bump of, okay, odds are against us. Let's kind of circle the wagons and, and try and, you know, salvage something out of the game. So the foul itself, you know, it, it, it's, 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 a funny, it's a funny rule because the letter of the law is hands to face is an automatic red, which I don't dispute. Because I just, I just watched the replay. I don't dispute that. Christian's hand got into a twist his face. What I'm disputing, though, is just Christian's intent and the way his hand, you know, got up into his face. So the intent was completely on a Twesta, who was not in the, in the brawl initially because it was K and Christian. And he deliberately, with intent, went in to shove Christian, and he doesn't get a yellow. So that doesn't seem fair. And then when he shoves Christian in the chest, which is not, which is not a straight red, Christian becomes unbalanced, and his arms go up, and his hand hits him in the face. So, you know, again, I always say this, you know, referees have a tough job. And referees are actually human beings with emotions. And they have to, they have to make good decisions in, in critical times under duress. So it's not easy being a referee. But I just think that in those moments, if you ever watch Christian Roldan play, that there is no intent. And somehow that has to factor into it. But like I said, I, 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 can, I, can, live with the, I can live with the call the thing I don't like to live with or I won't live with is a Twesta not getting a yellow because I think he was the instigator. Andrew? Uh, just real quick, Coach, for everything that happened kind of last week, uh, going on the road at L.A., uh, dealing with everything today, does one point kind of feel like three uh, after just kind of everything that happened, especially in this last night? Well, it's pro sports. There's no moral victories. Uh, but you're, this is about as close as it gets. I would, I would say that. You know, what I'm most proud of out of that group is that they all came together. You know, after the, after the tough week, you know, it's their third game in eight days. You know, some of them are tired, heavy-legged. They actually came together as a group and formed a really strong bond amongst themselves that I know is going to help us down the road. Those types of matches are critical to have it's critical that your players step up. It's e look, it's easy when you're 5-0-1. Oh, it's easy, okay, you can play, uh, whatever. When the chips are down or you're under some duress and the team makes a performance like that, that makes me proud to be a sounder. Boss? Yeah, Brian, kind of on the same vein, how important was it for the team in this game, given how it's ups and down, to stay disciplined in all the three different units? <laughs> We were, you know, again, credit to, you know, the assistant coaches. They do a good job. They make sure that every player on the field knows exactly what their job is. Um, you know, the, the, the players out there executed what we needed them to do in critical moments. Um, you know, the, 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 the desire and determination starting with our captain, starting with Roman, Steph, everybody. It, it spread throughout the team. Brad Smith almost scoring at the end. I mean, we had, we had some pretty monster performances there. Jordan up on his own for 88 minutes. I mean, there were some big performances in that game that, you know, showed that they not only had the heart and determination, but they were able to execute tactically what we wanted, to stay inside. Okay, we'll let them cross some balls from out wide because, you know, we had Roman and Kim in there cleaning stuff up. So I think our objective 
tactically worked in, in some small way, shape, or form. Stephen, how did you do uh, with regard to injury today? Looked like Morris maybe pulled up a little bit around the He's fifth minute. Jordan's fine, 100%. No new injuries? No new injuries. John? Coach, on Wednesday we talked a little bit how you hadn't been content with the defensive performances in previous games. How do you feel about performance after today, even going down a man, and, and what changed uh, from, you know, last Sunday and Wednesday to today? Well, I, look, I didn't I didn't watch the replay of the first goal, so I might have some might have some critique there. But you know, LAFC is a very very talented team. They have very very talented attackers. I think what you saw again is a real discipline. Two blocks of four. You know, Jordan doing what he could, and and they just had more resolve in key moments of the game than our opponent. They said not today. This is. It's not going to happen today for you, and you know. And sometimes games go like that. I mean, they met, look. They missed. They missed some pretty good chances. So it wasn't like you know they were without chances. I'm sure Bob is ruining a couple of those. But you know, at the end of the day, it's one-one, and we're going to push forward. Jose, how much of an impact do you think the physicality of the game played and your ability to slow down uh, their attack at times? Well, I would say the opposite. I mean, Kay was, Kay was in Nico's face down there, and they, 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 like they, they, they teams foul us. I mean, we have talented attacking players, and you know it seems like teams come in here, and they're not afraid to you know take fouls at halfway line and slow the tempo of the game and you know stuff like that. We actually don't do that that often. I mean, that's not the way we play. That's not who we are. So I might disagree with that. I think the physicality came because the desire to get something out of the game, you know, was, was what, what you saw out on the field. It wasn't, okay, we're going to foul here or foul there. No, today, today we're gonna, I'm going to be better than the guy I'm marking. Start with the two mats, Matt Penson and Matt Johnson. Um, what was the vibe in the locker room at halftime? Did Christian have any kind of message for his teammates? And how do you think that you guys were able to sort of steady themselves during the break there? Uh, that'll stay in-house. Christian is a team player. Um, and as far as the mood, they were determined. They were absolutely determined. And, you know, they set about to keep a clean sheet in the second half. That was their words, Matt. They all said, let's not give up a goal. And they accomplished that. Your philosophy of next man up to Lem, your thoughts on the Lem's performance as Another really, another really good game. I, I, I'm, I'm proud of every player on that field, and Delem certainly one of them. We don't get a chance to talk about him enough, so thank you, Matt. Um, he had a, he had a strong performance. You see his athleticism, winning tackles, breaking up plays. You know that w that was a strong performance by Jordy. So, Coach, you had a, the team had a tough week with three games. How can you summarize this whole week, thinking uh, you had a player that were injured and you couldn't have a plan to face L.A. with your full team? Well, I mean, when we, when we review this week, obviously, you know, away from home, it's hard to win an MLS, right? So you have the game in L.A. where we didn't have our best performance. Okay, then on two days rest, we played an unorthodox opponent, which I thought, you know, again, we were, you know, in the game at times. They had some part of the game. We came back 2-2. We had a chance to make it 3-2. Obviously, you want to win your home games. And then today's game just, again, showed the spirit and resolve of the group. So when I review the whole week, I say, okay, we only got two points. And that's... You know something that that happened. We we have to push past that. But I am uh, impressed by not only the the physical performance on Wednesday, but the mental performance today. Mark, um, uh, Hanwell Bawana was was active again today, like it was on uh, on Wednesday. Um, what uh, was there any sort of tactical instruction for him? You know, helping out with. Uh, 
Uh, Harry and Hendwalla, uh, LA is very good about finding those interior passes when Rossi dips in and Vela dips in and Ramirez comes off the back line and they have three very good active midfielders. So our intent was to bring Harry and Hendwalla to help uh, Christian and Jordy uh, and Nico and make sure they didn't overload the midfield. He did exactly what he was asked to do and then some extra because his defending actually was really good. Even some of his 1v1 duels that he had, you know, down in the corners, he was able to nick balls off guys. So we were uh, definitely uh, happy with his performance and impressed not only by his technical ability and his attacking movements, but by his defending as well. Jeremiah? Yeah, uh, Ryan, I don't know if you had a chance to talk to Ted Uncle after the game or not, but uh, he essentially, it sounds like what happened is they actually determined that Roldan's red was a deliberate act that he purposely uh, hit Conquest in the face. Do you have any kind of reaction to that? Well, I'm, I'm telling you, I know Christian better than Ted Uncle. And Christian did not deliberately you guys can all make your own judgments. You guys can all look at it on film and everybody will see what they see. I'm not, I'm not going to get into an argument with any of the referees. I don't choose to do that. But I know Christian. Christian didn't do that on purpose. He's not, he is not that kind of player. A Twesta, again, is the kind of player that instigated something. That's, that's my personal belief.